So you get a call from your customer and they tell you their generator won't start. <clears throat> and you ask them, you say, customer, what is it doing? And they say, well, it won't do anything. An important thing to ask your customer is if the engine will crank over at all. A lot of times a client will think you have a dead battery when in fact they just aren't using the machine properly. So the first thing to go through is to ask the client to check the emergency stop switch. The stop switch is located right here on the back of the machine on most of our units. If it is pushed in, the unit will not crank, it will not display any lights, and will appear to have a dead battery. So with that switch in, you will get nothing when you turn on the key. So the first thing to do is tell the customer to pull out the knob and twist. And you see the knob actually has some arrows on it. So pull and twist out. Then ask the client to turn the key to run and the light should light up if that was in fact the problem. As you can see, dash lights are on. The unit is now operational. One other thing that can happen if a customer does use this button to shut the unit down, occasionally they will get dust in them and you may need to repeat this process a few times, pulling it in and out, and then watch to see that the lights come on. So again, now turn the key, unit starts up, and we are ready to go. Another scenario that you will find is someone turns the unit off and turns this toggle switch to the right of the key to the off position. Now, you can switch it to manual or auto. Auto if you were using a timer or some other device to start the generator. Uh, in our case, and in most cases, the generator switch will be switched to manual. If it is in the off position, your client may come out and try to start the generator and again, will call you and say it has a dead battery instruct the customer to turn the switch, flip the toggle switch to manual, then attempt to start the machine, lights will come on, engine will start normally. Now, if none of these scenarios work, there is a good possibility the customer does have a dead battery. In most instance, instances, however, if a customer calls you and says the machine will not start and will not crank, it is most likely one of these two scenarios. Either the emergency stop or the off auto manual switch. Now this machine has analog gauges. You can see here it's got a regular tachometer, fuel gauge, coil pressure, amp meter, temperature gauge. Some of our newer machines have a deep sea controller and those have a different set of uh, troubleshooting that I will get to next. <laughs>